This video defines open, connected, and simply connected regions of the plane. Informally, a region D is called open if it doesn't contain any of its boundary points. A region D is called closed if it contains all of its boundary points. In the figures below, the first region, I'll call it A, is open. It doesn't contain any of its boundary points. The dotted line here means the edge or boundary is not included. The second region, B, is also open. It doesn't contain any of its boundary points either because of that dotted line. The third region, C, is also open. The next region, which I'll call D, is not open because it contains its boundary points. That's what that solid line means, that the edge or boundary is contained in the region. In fact, since D contains all of its boundary points, we say that D is closed. Similarly, the next region, E, is closed because it contains all of its boundary points. This final region, F, contains some of its boundary points, but not all of them. It can't be closed because it doesn't contain all of its boundary points, but it can't be open either because it contains some of its boundary points. So F is an example of a region that is neither open nor closed. A region D is called connected if any two points in D can be joined by a path in D. For example, this region on the left is connected because any two points in D can be connected by a path that lies entirely in D. The next region is also connected. If I pick any two points, I can always get from one to the other by a path that lies entirely in D. In fact, there may be several such paths. This third region, however, is not connected because it's divided into two pieces or components. And if I take a point in one of the pieces and a point in the other, there's no way to connect them with a path without going outside of my region D. Our next and last definition is simply connected. A region D is called simply connected if every simple closed curve C that you can draw in the region D encloses only points of the region D. Informally, simply connected means no holes. Let's look at some examples. This first example is simply connected because any simple closed curve that I can draw in the region will only enclose points of the light blue region. The second region is also simply connected. Even though it has two components, any simple closed curve that lies entirely in the region will only enclose points of the region. This next region, which looks like an O, is not simply connected. That's because if I draw a simple closed curve that goes around the O, it will enclose points that don't lie in the region. Similarly, this last region is not simply connected. Again, if I draw a simple closed curve that surrounds one or both of the holes, then that simple closed curve will contain points in the holes that are not in the region D. Please pause the video for a moment and classify each region. Decide if it's open, connected, and simply connected. The first region is open because it doesn't contain any of its boundary points. It's also connected because it just has one piece, and it's simply connected because it doesn't have any holes. The second region, B, is not open because it contains some of its boundary points. In fact, it contains all of its boundary points, so it's closed. It's not connected because it's divided up into seven different components, but it is simply connected. It doesn't have any holes. And if I draw any simple closed curve that lies entirely in the region, it'll enclose only points in that light blue region. The last region, C, is not open because it contains some of its boundary points, but it doesn't contain all of them, so it's not closed either. It is connected, but it's not simply connected because it has two holes in it. 
And if I draw a simple closed curve around one of those holes, it'll enclose points that are shaded white and not just points that are shaded light blue. This video gave definitions for open, connected, and simply connected regions of the plane. These definitions will come in handy when we state precise conditions for vector fields to be conservative.